What's up, Green Stutters? Ha <laughs> ha! Where we last left off, this storm was just rolling in. It's been raining now for a little bit, and I think it's gonna be like this all day. We gotta get that rain, gotta get that water. I'm gonna try and get you some footage, and I'm gonna show you see how well the shed pipe is doing. I think it's doing really well. We've been getting a lot of rain. I haven't seen any backflow on it. It should all be going right into the poly tanks, which is nice. Okay, that's kind of strange. I'm not sure what a helicopter is doing, uh, flying around in the rain, and then it kind of like almost touched down over to the uh, northeast of us. So that's, uh, I don't know, really weird. Let's check out my makeshift rainwater harvesting system. Of course, we're getting all kinds of leaks right now, so I thought I'd take advantage. And I set up a couple cinder blocks, laid this PVC pipe on top of it. I already previously cut this PVC pipe because I was thinking about using it for gutters. And then I got that going into a section of a metal gutter and we're getting water into uh, one of our high BC totes. Why not, right? Waste not, want not. Also, I put out some five gallon buckets and I'll actually dump those buckets into the other IBC tote. Got a little break in the rain. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Probably head out, do some work. I still gotta get the top of the cyst turned on. I got rained out earlier, couldn't do it. But now, I'm trying to get a little bit of that done, as much as I can. My little makeshift gutter here, I don't think it caught much water. Maybe we got 10 gallons of water. Not bad for a couple little, uh, a little PVC piece, little gutter piece. <laughs> With the buckets of water I've been collecting and tossing in here, I got just over 50 gallons of water. I was determined, if it was raining all day, just to keep grabbing those buckets and throwing them in there. That'll definitely help us out. We still need a, a bunch of water to finish off the uh, gutters here and finish off the cistern, so I'll take it. I'll take any little bit I can. I'll show you a little bit here. We got water collecting right around the cistern. This is something we don't want. Eventually, we're gonna get this filled in a little bit so that water will actually drain into the drain holes that we have set up. That's gonna happen soon. Meanwhile, this setup has been working nice. I don't know if it would work during a heavy deluge, but with this rains we got today, I didn't notice anything spilling up over the sides of the pipe. I didn't see anything spilling up over the gutter. It caught all the water. A nice little bit at the Hacienda tote, and I'd say about 25 gallons of water. Probably similar to what we caught in the poly tanks then. The Hacienda roof is about pretty much the same square footage as the shed roof. So whatever we get in here, it's probably similar to what we get in the poly tanks. The helicopter's back. What? Why? Why are there helicopters flying around here? Weird. Uh-oh, Jess is up on one roof, I'm up on the other. Hey, girl. <laughs> now that we got that break in that rain, we're out here working. Jess is out there, she's working on that gutter still, trying to get that to a point where it's not leaking. And eventually we'll probably have to seal this up so that the water doesn't seep into the cement, but right now I'm barefoot on top of the roof. I just didn't want to get my muddy boots and track a whole bunch of mud on top of the cistern roof and they get to patch in some of these holes. All right, since it's almost impossible to tell exactly where these little pinholes are, I'm just gonna have to do kind of like a cover of all the areas. Like I know exactly where in the areas they are. It's all in these little folds here going over the edges. So I'll probably put a little ring around the edges and then it's all the places where the, uh, the boards are underneath the ferro cement. So I'm just gonna slather it on. Nothing too fancy. And hopefully, this sets before it rains again. <laughs> Making some fantastic progress out here. Monsoon season is one of the best times of year. It gets really hot, then once monsoon season rolls in, it gets nice and cloudy, temperatures cool down, Perfect time to get things done. All right, with that break in the rain, I was able to get up here on that roof and I got it done. Uh, all the patching is uh, it's underway. It looks a little stripey now. But with a tool, you could probably get it a lot smoother. I opted to go with the glove. One, I feel it's just a little more comfortable spreading it around like that. But two, it kind of leaves a nice little texture to it. And if you're gonna go over it again, uh, you want a little texture for something for it to grab onto. But we are expected to get a little bit more rain, possibly this evening, in through tonight, and then in tomorrow. In a way, that's good. That'll keep the cement here wet, get it to cure a little stronger. Same thing with the gutters we're working on. Just put some more cement up in there. 
So hopefully that rain will get in there, get it nice and wet, make sure it has a stronger cure. Nice. So I'm about to head down into the cistern. It's kind of a cloudy day, but I'm hoping there's enough light to see whether my patching job did well enough to stop any light from coming through the cistern. Well, there's definitely water down here. It looks like I got things pretty much well patched up. Uh, all the uh, all the ridges here look pretty good. Okay, one. We got a little break in the rain today. It might rain later on. We'll see. I don't know if you can hear that sound. That is not rain. Let me show you what it is. This is nasty. There are just these clouds of flying ants all around here. It is pretty disturbing. And being that they're flying on the roof, they're landing on it and it just sounds like rain. But you know it's, it's the flying ants just landing on there. Ooh. So we've been living out here now for a couple of years and I think this is the first time we've seen anything like this. This is crazy. Hopefully we don't see anything like this again for a while. Jessica was about to do more gutter work up there but then uh, there's these swarms of these flying ants. She's like, uh, maybe later. This could be the craziest thing ever. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> hey girl, how do those gutters look? <laughs> So with Jessica's hard work up at the gutters, sealing that off, we can already see the flow coming off that gutter is already way more than it has been. So that's exciting. That last storm was pretty big and we're getting some rain in here now, but not as nearly as much as we thought we were gonna get. We were just checking on our records and this year has definitely been a lot drier than it was the last year. But if we can hit the average, I still think that's pretty good. This little rain catchment that I set up seems a little hokey. I mean, with this little piece of pipe and this little piece of gutter. But I mean, it's nabbed us nearly 60 gallons of water so far. Check this out. That's pretty impressive for a little piece of PVC and a little piece of gutter. I'd say that's probably a good 55 gallons right there. Not too bad. I guess it would be kind of nice if this gutter were finished and we'd be able to get all that water toward the cistern. But it's just going to take some time. Kind of crazy planning on my part. I honestly thought this whole project would have gone a lot quicker, but what can you do? Everything always takes more time and more work and more money than you anticipate. Remember that. <laughs> In this tote, I'd say we probably have about 65 gallons of water. And this is all for me putting buckets underneath the gutter to catch some of those drips. And I've been taking that, pouring that in here. So that's a lot more water that we were able to get just from me putting a little bit of extra elbow grease to get that water, but you know, we need it. And with the cistern, we're not getting the bulk of the water in there, but we're getting water in there. Soon we're gonna see this filling up. Soon. <laughs> Very exciting. And I know I talked about this already, but this is working out really well. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> Even with the heavier rains we've got, I still haven't seen anything overflowing from the gutters or the pipe. All that water's going into the poly tanks, and we're gonna need that for sure.
Those rains were incredible. Not nearly the, the storms I was hoping for. And in fact, I think if we go back and look at last year's July and this year's July, big difference. Granted, the month isn't over yet, but we've been looking at the forecast and there isn't anything on the schedule, at least for the next week and a half. So what we got is what we got, but we got a decent amount of water. Probably got hundreds of gallons of water between our IBC totes and our poly tanks. And we even got a little bit of water in our tank. Definitely not as much as I would have liked, but it's still gonna take some time to perfect how the cistern collects water and also how the gutter gets water to the cistern. That's just gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm excited. I'm excited about what I saw and I can't wait to keep building on this and to keep perfecting our system. I hope you find rain just as exciting as I do. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. But if you don't, you can live vicariously through me. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I'm just so pumped. I can't wait till everything is functioning 100%. All right, we'll catch you in the next video. Everyone.